Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Uh, we're playing the shape-shifting detective. It's a video game of videos <laughs> in oh, English. Yeah, dude, you got bald Englishmen in your face. Yeah. How do you like it? Aw, oh, she's rolled her eyes and we answered <laughs> the door for us. <laughs> I'll never go out with you. All right, uh, we are going to start a it's, new oh, game. Did you turn on the... Subtitles. Everything is as it should be, J Double. Dude, Joni I handled guns, that dude. In, in pre operation. Pre op. You're pre op? Yeah. The Vecchi Studios. Da, da, da. The uh, Vecchi. I wish I had like Ooh. a comma. What do you call those? Uh, not a comma. An apostrophe in my name. Yeah. The shape shifting detective. Like, <laughs> duh, TNT. <dynamite. laughs> You're listening like, to. T Radio apostrophe N T dynamite. T nice. There's the Allison and Death Monroe. again. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. Like this. It looks like August you're about police to, uh, are appealing for information following the murder of twenty one year old Dorota Shaw. Most Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Do you know what I'm talking Anyone about? Anyone with information about the murder is uh, urged to get in touch by the department's confidential tip hotline. Or something. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed, want, like, it is. That my wall. So apparently there was a murder, and we are the detective to solve it. Yep. Ooh, look at this guy, Tim Cowles. Oh, God. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You need to. How dare you speak to me like that? Nice beard. Don't look at me. Is he making kiss face? All at right, us? man. There better be a punch. Just Sam. There better be a punch option right now. Who are you? Who are you? Or trash? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I should just say trash. Yeah, right? he is trash. All right, trash. All right, it didn't work. Oh, I can trash the que question. Oh. So this didn't give me like any. I really should have looked at the options before uh, I got in here. Fine. Let's just say who are you? Exactly. Achieve. Rewind. The Vecchi Studios. <laughs> okay. All right. No. Did you hit trash? No. I pressed who are you? What? Do I seriously have to? I think you selected trash. I did not select trash. You're listening to Radio <laughs> what are you Dark doing? Nights. I did not Monroe. select trash. I don't it's know. Five o'clock, and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. Oh. August police are appealing for information <laughs> following the murder of 21 year old Watch Dorota Shaw. Again, dude. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last <laughs> night. Chief Dupont dude. is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. What? What did you do? Anyone with information the about the murder is urged failed. to get in touch via the department's confidential tip line. I don't know what I did. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed, it's okay, it dude. Is. I really wanted to see this again. I mean, you did you talk about ad nauseum how much you liked it, I so like it I just kind of figured you would. Don't talk That's to me. That's really weird. Why does he? You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Okay, you. That's why we got the achievement. Maybe I should just keep my mouth. You know what? I was supposed to trash it because he said, "Keep my mouth shut." So trash it. You know why you're here. Don't you? Oh, strong silent type. You okay. know why you're here, don't you? Uh, let's say no. I don't know why I'm here. The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? No. I can only see half of your face, so I don't know. You might be like, uh, do you feel like you can? Yes, I can do it. It's a time. rhetorical question. You're going to a town <laughs> called August. <laughs> Find Chief DuPont. He's going to think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Oh, okay. understood. It's rhetorical. Trash it. Yeah, that's rhetorical. Understood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I hate this game. This guy's a D, This dude. game is a troll, dude. Splendid. 
<laughs> this game is trolling me, dude. <laughs> if someone so much as sniffs that you're I different, for it. you'll be deprecated. I don't want to be deprecated. On. Oh, the broker. I don't want to be poor. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August sorry, resident what? Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Barley. The eight month old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Hey, Violet. Now, how long are you staying for? Oh, as long as you... How long are you gonna be here, girl? As long as it takes. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> are you staying? How long are you staying? <laughs> as long as it takes. Uh, I'm not sure. That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Visitors? Or do I trash it? Visitors, let's say it. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. Oh. It's some, deathly some, quiet. Some clairvoyance. Okay. Um, and then we can ask about the, uh, the, murder? the murder. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? <laughs> chief? Chief? <laughs> Chief Dupont, he's the one who booked the room for you. We're supposed to come talk to him, we knew You that. look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. Oh. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. What? what, what what's the insinuation? Just finishing. <laughs> that audio is <laughs> so good. Predicting the future? Oh, let's be an a-hole. I'm just looking for my room. You want to predict the future? Yeah, let's be an a-hole. Predicting. You don't flee. <laughs> I should have you like, nope. Nice grin, Jesus. What are you doing? She's like, <laughs> yes! <Stop>. nice, <laughs> nice freeze frame. No, is, let's believe. Hopefully, she'll read our cards, dude. It's not nice. Sure, that I'll believe. That sounds serious. You must have a serious job to do. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Broad, broad, Bronwyn. Bronwyn? Bron, Bronwyn. Bronwyn, yeah. Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. <gasps> Let's do it, dude! Multiple, late, maybe later, I'll find you, or sure. Oh, this let's do it. So, what's your question, Sam? Uh, will, will I, I win? win? Are you guilty? Wow. Let's do it. Yeah. What do you ask? Will I win? The Page of Cups. Are you guilty? It suggests I'm innocent of whatever it is I'm being accused of. I'm going to be seeing a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Yes, I'm Bronwyn. in room one, and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. Which room are you in, Sam? Uh, I'll tell her where my room is. I don't care. Good. We're neighbors. Just knock. Her tarot reading was one card. Yeah, is that, I know. How, they, is that how they read them in the Red UK? Because that other know. game, they did that too. She like showed the them to us. chest is the size of a cigarette. I can see straight through it from where I sit, even with the smoke trails from my gun. Six weeks of cheating husbands and damsels in distress. That's what it took to pay for that alpaca couch she's bleeding out on. I've done a bad thing, and it's only Wednesday. What? Her name was Vanessa Quinn, and she was an onomat, or so she said. I'm not sure I believe they exist. Even now, if she wasn't on a mat, she wasn't anymore. She told me to shoot her, so I did. On mats are supposed to have that power. They tell you to do something, and then you can't resist. Except I think I shot her because I wanted to. And it's a long story. Bang, bang, bang. The office door shook with the knocking from outside. What a time for company. Had I been set up? I'd shot Vanessa. And now I was literally holding a smoking gun about to get caught. Wait a minute, I called towards the door. Think, think. Quickly pulling out the desk drawers, I searched for some kind of solution. A pretzel, a postcard, a pair of pickle-shaped cufflinks. <laughs> there it is, in the bottom drawer, the patchwork quilt mom sent me over two Christmases ago. 
I was never going to see any other kind of action, so I throw it over Vanessa's body and open the door. It's almost too late before I realize I'm still holding the gun. But I quickly stuff it down the back of my pants. It's hot. Right. Officer Peters looks me up and down. She's hot too, but not as hot as the gun in the back of my pants. I wince. Yes, officer? We've had a report of gunshots coming from this building. Didn't hear a thing, I tell her, smiling sheepishly. Mind if I take a look around? Oh, not at all, I say, letting her through. Her tour of the office takes about five seconds, five solar seconds, and then she finds nothing. Something catches her eye. She runs her fingers across the back of my couch. Alpaca? I nod, worriedly. She nods appreciatively. Mind if I try? I protest no. as she sits down, but it's too late. She's definitely sitting on Vanessa's bleeding body. No. She's armed, so I'll need to be quicker, or maybe run. The window, I could jump, uh, say, 20 flights. It's soft, she says. It's then I realize Vanessa's body's gone. Just the throw remains. Still stroking the couch, she continues. Why do you keep the quilt on it? I'm in shock. It can get pretty dirty, I reply. Oh, I'll bet it does, she winks. So, I was wrong. Apparently the quilt could have some action after all, but not tonight. There was a corpse walking around somewhere, and it didn't have many places to hide. Officer Peter sighs. I'll get going then. Heading for the door, she turns around one last time. Be careful, she whispers. I'm really not supposed to say this, but the chief thinks there's an onomat on the loose. And when they get in your head, you can't get them out. Well, if I hear something, I'll let you know. No, you don't want to hear anything, not from an onomat. If you find one, shoot it. That's the only way to deal with them. That's how Aren't we, we deal an with them. Aren't we an onomat? I think so. She's gone. I shut the door firmly behind her and retrieve the gun like firmly behind me. a radio program. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let's go to our room then. I know that voice. I turn and see Vanessa upright on the couch. But I'm enthralled. Just like before I shot her. I believe you, I say. I just wanted to hear it until it got to the end. I just shot you. You didn't no. shoot me, she smiles. I told you to think that you'd shot me, and you did. So, uh, my alpaca couch, I ask hopefully. Well, the gunshot's real. The alpaca took it in the chest. I grimace, six weeks wasted. I knew I had a reason for wanting her dead. I point the gun at her and sneer. What do you want from me? I want you to help me make more onomats. Oh, she's the You mean like, uh, babies? No, silly. I mean like this. She curls a finger to beckon me over. Come here. I move Dude. towards her. Because I wanted to. It's your lucky day, she says. Yeah, you know what? She was right. I just got away with murder. It's my lucky day, I say. She places a softly scented palm on my forehead and whispers, Because you're an automat now. Yeah, because I'm an automat now. Do we shoot ourselves? She kisses me on the cheek and gives me a gentle push. Duh. Now, shoot go yourself. and tell the chief. You're listening to Radio August. Oh, that's the end. All right, we're going to the room. I'm sorry. I wanted to hear <laughs> to the end. It actually was a pretty good story. Yeah, it was. I was enthralled. I could, I could see, I could see myself listening to that audio only. Oh, our room has a. This is a nice those, room. One of those weird like canopy beds. Yeah. What's the point of those? I have no idea. To feel important, I guess. <laughs> I don't I know. I feel like I'm important, don't I? I don't know why I need pillars on my bed. I mean, hang, it looks nice. You can hang sheets on it. You can have like a fort. I would like definitely put curtains if I <laughs> like rainbow princess curtains. Leave <laughs> shifting. Oh, I can't leave shifting locked. Locked. I think I think we can shift into we're a shapeshifter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll just pick it. Sleeve. He reaches into his jacket for something. Okay, so another cigarette. Tune radio. You gotta find oh, me a yeah, good I don't want to do that. He mumbles. I can go to my room. After lighting up. Hail a cab. Oh, I got I got to hail a cab. Transition. You're not a superhero. Oh, we have to transition safely. Why is our room not safe? I don't know. Honestly, okay. I guess um, we'll hail a I guess cab. I we'll hail a cab then. The girl gurgles out a shriek and raises up from the dais. Right, Although it listen, may be, whispers love. Visit Chief. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, let's visit He's the Chief. Yeah, we're Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector DuPont. I wasn't sure you'd come. 
but I suppose you're between jobs. <laughs> I'm, I'm Sam. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. That's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw. 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Doctor, or what does it say? Duranto Shaw. Duranto Shaw? Uh, why the tarot readers? Let's ask about Duranto. Yes. Keep up, Sam. That's the girl who was murdered. Okay, fine. I guess I should keep up, Sam. Yeah. Why? Is it? I want to know more about it. her. But... The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. Oh, we met her. Yeah, we did. Do you think she's crazy? <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. <laughs> to be honest, and I thought she'd probably been smoking something. That's why I didn't take it seriously. Yeah, Dad, tell me about it. Why did he make the motion to his lips, though? <laughs> I'm sorry. Why isn't she in jail? Because things. I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? No. Nope. nope. <laughs> I'll try. Game over. Man. Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out. You can talk. I'll help you. You can definitely talk to people. Yep, you can definitely make your mouth make words. Where's my badge and gun? <laughs> Which one should I say, Joe? Does help me out, or where's my badge and gun? Yeah, where's my badge and gun, dude? You don't get that. There's no badge and gun, just a hope and a promise. Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Oh, now I don't need to find out how he can help me. That's all right. Forget it. Uh, tell about uh, tell me about Dorothra. Or do you have an alibi for last night? I can trash that because he, he... Well, when may should I? I shouldn't trash that. I feel like I should trash that. He's he's on the case. He's, he's in law. Yeah, he's like the chief, dude. Well, I'm trashing this one because he's the chief, dude. Tell me about Dorothra. What do you think about the tarot readers? Is Bronwyn a prime suspect? Where was Dorothra killed? What do we know? What can you tell me about Violet? We haven't met Violet yet. What do we know? I guess tell me about Dorothra. What do you want to know? Stuff. She was a cellist selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Uh, when was she killed? Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner. We got a call from the mother just after 10pm. That's unfortunate. It would suck to die. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I've heard that. So is Bronwyn a well, prime suspect? Anyone who walks in, predicts a murder, then that murder happens? Suspicious. Or she's a psychic. This dude's mannerisms are killing me. Yeah, he's he's got some manners. It's like he hosts like a uh, a British like talent show. Uh, yeah. Where where was Bronwyn where killed? Oh, where was Dorothra killed? In her bedroom. She was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Oh, that uh, that helps us determine who the killer is. Okay, it does. The gold coin in the mouth. Yeah, all right. What all do right. we know? What do you think about the tarot readers? What can you tell me about Violet? You want to say what do we know? Yeah, let's see what we know so far. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Shut up. Okay, so, yeah, that didn't help. Uh, what do you think about the tarot readers? What can you tell me about Violet? Let's go with There's the tarot readers. Thieves covering for each other. Well, 
except the male one. You'll see what I mean. Thick as thieves. All right, what can you tell me about Violet? Ah, uh, old here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What's she told you? Crash it, dude. This should be silent. silent. Look, if it's about the pills, I already know. Whoa. 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 What, what, what do we, oh. Wait, what do we know about the pills? Not much. No. Perhaps you should do some no, investigation. Okay, so there's a pills. Okay, it was good to trash that question. <laughs> yeah. So, All right, so let's, uh, we're out of here. So she's a pill Legend junkie. Legend has it that this <laughs> All right, let's go back to the guest house. They glimpsed Queen Ankesenema undressing the wife of King Tut. The king ordered that Busan be shrunk by mystics, and the process caused the pain you see on his face. These tattoos. All right, so we can. Can I go back, for favor? All right. So we can go to Violet. We can go to Bronwyn. We can go to Rain. Let's go see Bronwyn again. Lexi. Okay. I'm fine with seeing Yeah, we Bronwyn. already have a relationship built with that <coughs> chica. All right. But we will visit Bronwyn on the next one. All right, all right, crazy townsfolk. That's all the time we got. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. For Jonas. TNT. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are a uh, outa.